Cadillacs have always been about innovation and bringing enhancements to the driving experience. And we see the semi-autonomous vehicle or the self-driving vehicle as the next stage in that evolution. The system works by using a fusion of sensors, GPS, radar, cameras, all of that combined to give a 360 degree view around the vehicle as well as knowledge about the road system that the vehicle is traveling on to really deliver the ultimate in terms of a controlled experience. Vehicles that we're introducing even this year, the 2013 Cadillac XTS and the Cadillac ATS already have technology that's a precursor to the kinds of systems that we're talking about. For instance, systems like the virtual front and rear bumpers that will bring the vehicle to a stop in the event of an impending collision at low speeds. Uh, obviously, full range adaptive cruise control, so not only the ability to maintain a speed, but come to a complete stop and then the vehicle reaccelerate again within uh, stop and go traffic situations. We are not about taking control away from the driver. We always want the driver engaged and involved with the experience, but we want to enhance their ability when they're in those situations. We're going to show you what we call uh, internally super cruise, which combines adaptive cruise control and lane centering. Adaptive cruise control is something like conventional cruise control except it uses a sensor that detects vehicles ahead of you and if they're going slower than your set speed it'll slow you down to, to pace that lead vehicle. The lane centering function, uh, as it implies, when it's engaged will follow a, a, a single lane. Um, it's designed to work on freeways. So when you have the two together, you have the opportunity for the system, to, the car to basically drive itself for substantial periods of time. The car is doing its own steering and its own braking to a stop a reasonable distance behind him.